Oh right, video dreams. We all have them, and we have them a lot. We most likely will have over one hundred thousand dreams in our lifetime. But what is a dream? A random thing that happens in your subconscious while you sleep? Or does it have greater meaning? Today I will talk about the top 10 most common dreams and their meanings. Number 10 is being in an empty room. And you thought this was your subconscious telling you that you were uncreative. Dreaming of an empty room can mean that you feel like you never do things and you want to do more. More commonly, being trapped in an empty room means that you feel like you want to run away from life and your problems, but you just can't. Number nine is failing a test. This means that you're afraid of doing bad in school. Maybe there's a test or a presentation coming up that you're nervous about. If you dream about doing really well on a test, then perhaps you have high hopes for something going up, whatever that may be. I remember once I had this dream where I made the stupidest mistake. I was in like a Nobody cares about the dream you had the other night. Why do you even ask questions at the end of your videos? I mean, no one cares anyway. You don't even read them, do you? You don't even care. But I care about this dream. Oh, I don't care. I totally care. And then, and then, oh, you. Number eight is being chased. Watch out for that clown carrying a plunger chasing you in your dream because that might actually happen, so watch out. If you dream of being chased by someone that you know, you might be scared of them. If a random person is chasing you, then you might be a little paranoid that someone is out to get you and might have a little bit of paranoia. And if I'm chasing you in your dreams, then you might be scared of me. Number seven is paralysis. Not being able to move in a dream could mean that you feel trapped and pinned down in life. You feel like you need to break free, but you just can't. Now, dreaming of paralysis is way different than sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is when you wake up and you can't move, so you're paralyzed, that's the name, sleep paralysis. But there's a little bit more to it than that. You're still half asleep at this point usually, so sometimes you might see hallucinations of things in your room that were in your dream. However, this will only last for a minute or two. Now, I've never had sleep paralysis before, but I know a few people who have, and from what they say, it sounds like it can be kind of scary sometimes. Number six is flying. Much like paralysis, flying in a dream means that you want to run away from your life and your problems, except this time, you don't feel pinned down. Or this could just be your subconscious telling you you want to be a superhero. <laughs> Number five is death. Death is a pretty common dream. I'm pretty sure that everyone watching this video has dreamt of death a few times in their life at least. I know I've dreamt of death more than a few times in my life. If you dream that you die, you could be scared of and to face death. If you dream of a big death, like say a national landmark being attacked or a plague, then this could be foreshadowing something. No joke, in fact, in 1912, when the famous Titanic set its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York, only to sink a few days later, and become one of the most deadliest shipwrecks in history, it is reported that about 20 people who had tickets didn't show up because they had a bad feeling about it from nightmares they had of being on that sinking ship and dying. Or should I say they had a sinking feeling? And the same thing with 9-11, at least a hundred people reported having nightmares about it the few weeks prior to the attack. Anyway, if a loved one or one of your friends dies in a dream, then you might be afraid of losing them. And if you killed someone in your dream, then you might want to get checked out. Number four is being late. Having a dream of being late to an important test, conference, or meeting means that you're nervous of an important work or school-related event coming up. If you dream of something like missing the train or missing the bus, then it could mean that you feel like you're always running behind and running late. Number three is teeth falling out. 
Interestingly, even though this is an extremely common dream, I have never had this dream. It is said that if you see teeth in a dream standing out, then it means that you feel like you stand out. If you see teeth in a dream not falling out, but just teeth, it means that you feel like you have great power and confidence. And if you have a dream where your teeth fall out, then that means that you feel like you don't have very much confidence in life. Number two is nudity. Oh, hey, Mike, how you doing? Oh, my God, where are my pants? Nudity is a very common dream. Usually, being naked in a dream means that you as a person feel vulnerable. You take things quite literally or they go right through you. Now, depending on if you're fully naked, half wearing one clothes, etc., it could mean different things. And number one is falling. Probably one of the most common dreams is falling. Depending on how fast you fall could mean different things. If you fall really slow, it could mean that you just go with the flow and you're easy going. If you fall fast, it pretty much means the opposite and that you do everything fast. But if you are falling way too fast and somewhat out of control, then it means that you feel like you don't have very much control in your life. Kind of like the nudity one, it can mean a whole bunch of things, too many to count, depending on where you fall, where you are, how you fall, etc. I remember once I had a dream where I was falling and I hit the ground, like I hit the ground in my dream and I woke up, but I was on the floor, so I guess somehow while I was sleeping I was moving around a lot and rolled out of bed, so I was on the floor, so when I woke up, I like couldn't tell if I was like dead or alive or still dreaming, I, I it was really weird. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you now know something about you that you didn't know before. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like what I do, please take a moment to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. And comment, tell me one really weird dream that you had. I upload bi-weekly, a fun video every Wednesday, and a factual video every Friday. Well, that's all for now. So I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye!